Thanks for tuning into this clip. I wasn't aware of adventure games like the Maze M series, and Pechka was my first try. No shooting, no scoring, nor any activity that we do normally in games. Rather, these could be recognized as novels which the ending is decided by readers' choices until the end. Pechka is the traditional Russian oven on the dictionary. As I haven't seen the conclusion of this game, I have no idea why this game is named as an oven. Or maybe it's because the background city is Vladivostok of the 19th century. The main character, a Korean descendant who is a Russian nationality and working under Japanese embassy as an assassin, was quite nice as it could have existed during the era. At first, I was amazed by the game's detail and storyline, but was able to recognize that it ain't free from a very early stage. For day 4 gameplay, I had to wait 3 days to collect coins to open a new chapter. Its in-depth scenario and details were amazing, but was too pushy in asking for purchase if anyone wants to enjoy the entirety. Here. Minus one bonus point is given. They uh, limiting only two ads per day was very devastating. From day one to day five, the final points of Mazem Pechka is 16 out of 25, and the final ratings is 6.4. From the IGN review scale, Mazem Pechka can be positioned between okay and good. Will I be playing this game again? No. But I think this is a very nicely made game. I just don't want to purchase. Thanks for watching my readings of Maze and Pechka. Be sure to like my video and subscribe my channel if you enjoyed it. See you again with the next game's ratings. Bye.